हेलो 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 हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप गाइज डूंग गुड इन दिस वी गोन सी प्रॉब्लम थ्री थ्री फोर नाइन एंड द नेक्स्ट फॉलो अप विल बी थ्री थ्री फाइव जीरो कूल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉच प्रॉब्लम थ्री एंड फोर यू कैन सी इट इज ऑन द चैनल ऑफ टूडेज कॉन्टेस्ट ना द प्रॉब्लम सिंपली से इज दैट यू आर गिवन एन आर ए नम्स एंड एन इंटीजर के एज यू कैन सी आर ए नम्स एंड द इंटीजर के वॉट यू हैव टू फाइंड इज यू हैव टू चेक इफ देर एग्जिस्ट टू एडजेंट सब आर एज यू नो अ सब आर एज एन आर ए ऑफ एलिमेंट्स एंड कॉन्जिक्यूटिवली प्लेस्ड सो टू सब आर एज एज यू कैन सी दिस इज वन दिस इज अनदर सो दीज टू ऑल्सो शुड बी कॉन्जिक्यूटिव एंड द फैक्ट हेयर इज दैट बोथ सब आर एज शुड बी स्ट्रिक्टली इंक्रीजिंग इफ यू कैन अचीव सच टू सब आर एज विच आर कॉन्जिक्यूटिव हैविंग अ लेंथ ऑफ के एंड दैट टू स्ट्रिक्ट इंक्रीजिंग देन यू कैन सिंपली रिटर्न अ ट्रू simple brute force what i will do i will simply say that i will try off at every index which means that currently if this is my corresponding array i will simply try first k as first sub array then obviously just after the first i will have to place the next k which means that if i choose a as an index then other index is already fixed which means b will automatically become index as a plus k so i am choosing only one index which is a then let's say if this is a i have to iterate a length of k here same way b will nothing b will be, will be a plus k i will again iterate as a length of k and then i just have to check if this specific array is strictly increasing or not how i will do it imagine if this is portion of my sub array and here the end will be start plus k obviously this index will be nothing but if i put it end as it will be start plus k minus 1 i have to check if this is strictly increasing to check if a portion of array let's say this is as j let's say this is j so if to check if a portion of array from i to j is strictly increasing or not how do you check it you simply check that this value should be lesser then the next value so this should be higher then obviously this should be much or smaller next or more smaller then next more smaller so this is how you can check it so i will simply do the same thing but at every start index which is a let's see the code it's exactly same so what i am doing here is i am again as i showed you in this piece i will have to go and try for all possible i now to try for all possible i i am going and starting and starting my index from zero but then i am going up till a specific point what is that point that point is nothing but the last index at which i can go still i should be able to get two sub arrays of length k what it will be, what it will be obviously let's take last k elements last k elements i will take two k elements if the length is a 10 i have to take six elements obviously i should have to stop my index at 4 which means i will try for this 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 index that's it i cannot go any further than that because obviously if i go it i would not be even able to achieve a length of k k as two sub arrays right so you this is what you will try for as the indexes so this is the same logic n minus 2 into k as you can see 10 minus 2 into 3 which is n minus 2 into k now when i say i will try it i will simply say that bro check me and tell me that if i am at a specific index i is this sub array strictly increasing and if this is strictly increasing which is the same way as i told you this logic so you will simply pass in nums you will pass in the start index and the length the length is k itself which you have to check if this is strictly increasing or not you will go and check back here you will simply have you will simply start from the start index up till this index what is this index you will see i told you that the end index j is start plus k minus 1 but obviously if you are at the very end element if you are at the end element which means, which means if you are at the index j you cannot check it with any other element right next up uh, next it so that's the reason i am putting it less than because i am checking my array of i with array of i plus 1 so at the j there will be no j plus 1 because j is the actually the last index that's the reason i am here comparing if at any point i figure out that the array of i is more than or equal to because again remember maksad nahi bolna your main aim was this portion should be strictly increasing 
which means that array of i plus 1 should be strictly more than array of i. Else wise, if this is the case, then simply re return a false, else re 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 return a simple true. So this is a simple case. Now, what is the complexity of this? Before that, you might say, Aaron, what is the base case? Although this is not required because the constraint itself mentioned that k 2 into k is actually your less than equal to n. But still, you can just simply put it. And also this one base case that if k is 1, which means that k is 1, one consecutive element, one consecutive element, there's nothing in that. One element is itself consecutive, or I should say one element it itself strictly increasing. So with that case, you should simply return a true if the k is one. Now, what's the complexity? Obviously, you are going on to all the indexes roughly. So O of n for that. At every index, you are checking or you are iterating k, k as subarray. So at every index, k, k as the subarray, which means O of k. So it will be O of n into k as a complexity. Space, nothing used, O of 1. Now, the next follow-up is, earlier in the approach, you were given a k. In this approach, you will have to find the maximum possible value of k. Which ultimately brings us to the fact that we will try all the possible values, all the possible values of k. Because I told you that, okay, k as 1, always possible. Then 2, I will try. Then 3, I will try. Then 4, I will try. Then 5, I will try. So same way, I will keep on trying. Which means I am kind of doing a linear search. I will search that, okay, is 1 possible? Okay, if not, sorry. Yeah. If is is 1, one possible? Okay. If yes, try for 2. 2 length is possible? If yes, try for length of 3. Obviously, if 3 is not possible, then there's no even chance that a higher length of a subarray will even be possible. Right? That is the reason I will simply can apply a binary search here, which means that I will do a binary search on the value of k. Now, whenever you think of binary search, what the first thing comes to your mind is, what will be the low and high? Obviously, I told you that the minimum possible value of k can be 1, and which is always giving the correct answer, or I should say true. So I will say the low is here as 1. What will be the high value? Think of it as we saw previously that when I have an array, in worst case, what if my k is a filling? Okay, let's say k element here, k element here. So, which means that k is n by 2. That is my maximum value of k, n by 2. Now, simply do a binary search on this value of k. So, I would simply say that if I do a binary search for the value of k, I will have a log of n by 2 as a factor because of binary search. But binary search with this value of k on what? On the given array. But we saw that the given array itself to check if, again, like this will give me, like this binary search will give me corresponding k. I have to just check if that k is possible or not. If possible, try for a higher value of k. If not, try for a lower value of k. If possible, to check this possibility itself, this was the first part. But the complexity which we saw in the first part was O of n into k. If we go ahead with the same complexity, what will happen is O of n into k into log k. As I told you, k maximum value can be n by 2. So it will be O of n square log n, which will obviously give you TLE because n is 1 e 5. How will you optimize it? Before optimizing, think of what this O of n into k even meant. This O of n into k meant that go to each index. At every index, check for consecutive array consecutive array length of k and then k again which is 2k roughly so obviously you will have to go at every index that you cannot deny or that you cannot afford to not go can you somehow minimize that how will you be able to achieve if you have a length of a k consecutive elements which are increasing can you do that in o of 1 if you can do that in o of 1 what will happen is you will be able to achieve O of n log n, which will work. So to achieve that, we realize that we are we have the given input array. We have to somehow should be able to get in O of 1 that do I have adequate length where if I am at specific index, I should be knowing that do I have that much amount of length of a consecutive strictly increasing elements, which means as you can see, if I'm standing here, I have a value of 3. This 3 indicates that at this specific index, I will have 3 elements which will be strictly increasing. So, I ultimately now I am triggered to find some sort of array like this. How I will find it? I will simply start iterating from backwards. 
बिकॉज वाई बैकवर्ड्स बिकॉज आई वेन आई एम इट्रेडिंग ऑन दर आई इट्रेड फ्रॉम लेफ्ट एंड वेन आई इट्रेड फ्रॉम लेफ्ट एट एनी इंडेक्स आई शुड बी नोइंग दैट इज अ के एज अ सब एरे ऑफ कॉन्जिक्यूटिव इंक्रीजिंग लेंथ पॉसिबल और नॉट so i should be having at this index a value of 3 as you can see here four indicates i have four elements or i should say this is not consecutive so i should yeah like again this thing as you can see i should say it's strictly increasing so yeah i can just tick it as 4 and 5 so you are just concerned about do you have strictly increasing length or not now i what i will do i'll simply take from the backwards i'll simply say okay three okay one element this 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 one represents length is one of strictly increasing array from this point i will go back i will check the previous element which is array of i so obviously i'm going to i minus 1 or i should say if i am at i i'm checking for i plus 1 if it is larger i can just do a plus 1 it is less okay reset it reset it so you can see that now this thing is strictly increasing now again this is one for four go back three lesser okay, increase it go back two lesser increase it go back higher ah stop it reset it this indicates again a strictly increasing two three four again this is one right this go back increase it go back increase it go back increase it go back increase it again this is also strictly increasing two five seven eight nine now what will happen with this at any index if i am at let's see if i am at i i very easily will be able to know that do i have let's say k when you did a binary search you told me that okay k values let's say 4 so you asked is there a possibility of having four consecutive elements which are strictly increasing i'll go and check oh four yeah four it is possible if it is i will say okay good but can you simply say good because you only checked k elements but you have to check k and k again so do one thing that if you have are at any index you will check k but you remembered that this will say that i am taking k i am taking k elements but again for the next sub array its start index will be will be i plus k so at this index also check will you be able to achieve a k or not and here you can see it will not be able to achieve a k if i put a k as let's say 4 so at this index i will be able to achieve a k okay k is saying 4 okay good but then as soon as i go to the next index which is b it will be 5 obviously then the value is 3 he is saying i can only afford a 3 i don't i, I can i cannot afford a 4 so i cannot have two consecutive sub arrays starting at this index with this specific k value which will be strictly increasing so you have to check increasing or i should say if this is the increasing array increasing of i if it is more than equal to k and also increasing of i plus k if it is also more than equal to k only then i will say that that specific k is a good and again this i can do it for any possible index right so if i come if i bring you back i will still go on to all possible indexes but now to check that for two like now to check for any specific index my corresponding length of k for two sub arrays i can simply find because of this pre computation i can simply find this in o of n time and thus my complexity is o of n into log n cool let's see the code again it's exactly simple firstly i did a binary search from l equal to 1 to r equal to n by 2 again this is a simple binary search template if you don't know binary search simply write binary search by r in mittal you you you'll get the first video just watch it that's it now uh, here i'll find the mid i'll check i'll check if it is possible or not again i should have used is possible but actually what i did was i pasted the code from the previous portion and thus the function name is same but yeah um you can simply check if it is possible or not if it is possible assign the answer and increase the value of k if it is not decrease the value of k and ultimately get get the answer now when i say increase the value or i should say is possible how to check is possible to check is possible you need to do the pre computation to compute this increasing array how will you do it you will simply go in from the end and firstly in the end it it will be one then go from the second last index and simply check if the i nums of i if it is less than nums of i plus 1 obviously this is a decreasing stuff so i can 
increase the length if not reset the length now with this portion i will be able to achieve my corresponding increasing array when this computation is done i will simply go and when there is a is a valid function is there i will simply have the exact same base cases exact same condition is just that earlier if you remember i was calling these earlier i was calling these two stuff these two functions rather now i will call my pre computation my pre computation is increasing of i is more than equal to k and increasing of i plus k is also more than equal to k if that's the case return a true if not return a false and that's it with that your complexity will be o of n log n and space will be o of n because you are using this increasing array especially cool i hope you guys got it if yes then do smash that like baby see you in the next video and then goodbye take care bye bye do join on discord and telegram bye bye